Today, thanks to the quick advancements in science, technology, and material science, as well as the use of advanced manufacturing techniques, the production of industrial girth gears has reached a new level. Among them, the segmented ADI girth gear developed and manufactured by SEW China has garnered the unwavering admiration of numerous users in the field of industrial girth gear thanks to its unique design structure, exceptional material properties, innovative production methods, and exceptional after-sale service. The SEW segmented ADI girth gear provides clear advantages over the standard girth gear in halves. One segment model is all that is required for casting the SEW segmented ADI girth gear, which offers appropriate segmentation, high casting quality, and reduced pattern costs. Because of its tiny size, the segment can be processed in a machining center. Higher strength and superior overall qualities are fostered by the ADI isothermal quenching heat treatment procedure. The SEW segmented ADI girth gear segments each have a practical design, precise and manageable size, and are interchangeable, making installation and adjustments simple. The cost of maintenance is significantly reduced when only the locally damaged segment needs to be replaced. The shipment of SEW segmented ADI girth gear is therefore more practical and economical. The fine design and exacting calculations of SEW experts are vital to the effective deployment of segmented ADI girth gear. To create models and develop gear segments and components in a highly accurate and efficient manner, engineers employ state-of-the-art professional 3D software. The Finite Element Method FEM, simulation program also optimizes the SEW segmented ADI girth gear. The power to weight ratio of the optimized design is more reasonable and synchronous simulation of the real temperature field is used. The distribution of stresses, deformation, bolt connection dependability, and joint gap of the gear segment can all be discovered through analysis, providing a theoretical foundation for the best possible girth gear design. Such exacting calculations and designs make it possible to provide customers with the best drive solutions and substantially lower their investment costs. Diverse girth gear types have been introduced by SEW segmented ADI girth gear to meet the needs of various working environments. Concerning the spring plate connected segmented girth gear for hot kiln drum, the gear segment is mounted on the drum with the spring plate to counteract the effect of the drum's thermal expansion, ensuring that the girth gear consistently maintains its original installation position throughout operation. At room temperature, the segmented girth gear for the drum is installed on the drum using a mounting flange or welding flange. The segmented girth gear that is attached to a welding flange is mostly appropriate for drums without mounting flanges or for projects involving replacement and reconstruction. Most operating situations can be met by spur girth gears in their standard configuration. The helical girth gear, which is frequently used in large mining mills, has a better contact ratio and load transfer capability than the spur girth gear. The gear segments section can be split into two types, T-shaped single spoke plate and Y-shaped double spoke plates. The T-section type of gear segment is ideal for medium load mills and the Y-section type has higher structural stability for heavy duty mills. 
two types of arrangements for pinions that drive the SEW segmented ADI girth gear are available. One is to directly install the pinion on the output shaft of the gear unit, and the meshing force between the girth gear and the pinion completely acts on the low speed shaft of the gear unit. To meet this goal, the gear unit usually need customized design. Direct mounted arrangement reduces upfront costs. The other arrangement is a pinion setup with extra bearing seats. The pinion shaft is supported by two independent bearing seats that take the load of the meshing force between the girth gear and the pinion. It is more convenient to install or adjust the pinion in this configuration. The majority of other girth gear products currently available on the market are made of cast steel. But the SEW segmented ADI girth gear is made of Austempered ductile iron, ADI, an alloy that has undergone a process called isothermal quenching heat treatment procedure to produce a metallographic structure matrix made of austenitic ferrite, austenite plus ferrite, and spheroidal graphite. Manufacturing of SEW segmented ADI girth gear adopts rough finishing allowance before heat treatment, isothermal quenching heat treatment, and fine machining after heat treatment. Usually, the machining process needs a vertical machining center to machine pinholes. Based on the pinhole, a horizontal machining center finishes the clamping efficiently. Our customized machining center integrates the functions of horizontal machining vertical machining, and independent gear tooth milling, which can realize a one-time clamping of the gear segment, and then complete all machining procedures, including gear tooth milling, the joint surface milling of the gear segment, the positioning pinhole and connecting hole drilling of the joint surface, and the mounting surface milling of the drum mounting flange. Each gear segment of the same model can have good interchangeability, thanks to sophisticated tools and highly accurate probes. The tooth flank of SEW segmented ADI girth gear is machined by a special disc-shaped gear milling cutter, which has the same form as the gear tooth. This makes it possible to obtain extremely high machining efficiency and tooth flank roughness. The machining precision of the SEW segmented ADI girth gear is exceptionally good, and each segment's machining accuracy is higher than level 8 in ISO or level 9 in AGMA. Low-level vibration of the girth gear during operation is guaranteed by high-precision machining, which provides the girth gear's dependability and stability. Every segmented ADI girth gear manufactured by SEW is put through a series of rigorous expert inspections from start to finish. To ensure the high consistency of the casting, inspectors use a laser scanner to create a 3D physical model from the photosensitive points during the casting size inspection. They then compare the generated model to the theoretical 3D model to see if the deviation is within the allowable range. The chemical composition, spheroidization rate, spheroidization grade, and graphite size of raw materials are examined during the quality inspection to make sure the quality satisfies the corporate specifications. Ultrasonic testing is done to make sure the internal quality of the gear segment satisfies the required standards after the casting rough machining. To test the tensile strength, yield strength, and ductility of the girth gear segment and make sure that the mechanical properties and quality parameters comply with the standards, SEW engineers will choose samples for tensile tests from each casting furnace and ADI heat treatment furnace. The hardness, brinal hardness, is rigorously checked during the hardness inspection. The metallographic structure of the gear segment's heat treatment test block is analyzed in the lab as part of the metallographic structure inspection 
to see if it satisfies the heat treatment's quality standards. To make sure the quality fulfills the standards, magnetic particle testing will be performed on the segment surface after the fine machining. After the product has been finished, the inspection engineer will follow the inspection plan to proceed the 3D coordinate measuring and teeth measuring of gear segment to verify that the joint size and teeth characteristics comply with the requirements of the designs and assembly. This will assure the product's quality. The 3D coordinate measurement center evaluates the shape and position, tooth profile, tooth trace, circular pitch, cumulative circular pitch, and run out of machined gear segments. The measurement room will use a 3D model for precise programming in advance to increase the measuring accuracy of finished products, and the program can only be used after being approved by the team leader and the engineer. This will allow for tracking whether the first piece inspection process and results meet the requirements and allow for timely feedback of the results to the production department and process department for high efficiency and accuracy. After all the gear segments have been processed, they will be assembled and measured in the factory assembly area, which will ensure the accuracy of the overall size while providing the fundamental technical information for on-site installation. To verify that the joint location satisfies the design strength requirements and that the bolt pre-tightening force is sufficient, the hydraulic torque wrench is utilized to precisely manage the bolt tightening torque during assembly. To assure seamless meshing and no impact at the joint, inspectors will measure the cross rod distance of the girth gear and the joint pitch during girth gear assembly in the factory. All the strict inspections is to provide customers better girth gears to give them a sense of cutting edge production experience brought on by technology. SEW segmented ADI girth gears are widely utilized in significant industrial and mining businesses all over the world, providing consumers with a high quality and effective experience. With the use of cutting-edge R&D technology and strong capabilities, SEW China will create and develop more sophisticated goods and offer users individualized services in the future. The users in SEW will work together to build a better future. Strive for excellence and perfection, SEW.